Today we get to check out a guitar where guitar culture and video game culture collide. We're looking at the Fender Stratocaster Final Fantasy collaboration guitar, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cuba Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our spring store. Link below for custom designed t-shirts and other merch. And, you know, heck, just buy stuff from us. How's that? Also, check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So, this is a Final Fantasy fourteen. 14. Stratocaster, right? Yep, yeah. absolutely. And if you know me at all, you know I'm a huge gamer, dude. Are you? Do you game at all? No, at sir. At all? At all? Okay. I am. I'm not a huge gamer. My kids are more, you know, it's one of those things as you get older. But I play games. Yeah. Uh, I got, you know, I've been playing, you know, shout out, if anyone plays this on PlayStation, I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm anxious to play the, the sequel to that. It's an awesome game. I'm a big kind of action-adventure game. Yeah. From way back, and I am going to show my age here, but I was introduced to the Final Fantasy world back on the Super Nintendo with Final Fantasy III that I rented from Blockbuster Video. Classic. And then uh, loved so much that I bought and spent way too many hours on. So, And that's, that's why done. you're a better guitar player than I am. But I'm not a better Final Fantasy player. So. Well, that's debatable. I mean, this is an <laughs> we're average here. Yeah, yeah. You might this be a better Final average. Fantasy player today. I mean, yeah, you, that's this true. is your opportunity. So uh, let's talk about what this guitar is. Uh, my understanding is it's only available in the U.S. and Japanese markets. Yeah. It is a special collaboration um, with the makers of Final Fantasy and has some special design features that invoke things from the game, uh, not just features in the guitar, but the way it's constructed, which is unique. So, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. We're using this light to showcase some unique attributes of the actual build of the guitar so you can see it better. But it's alder and crystal. It's crystals. crystals. I think it's epoxy. <laughs> it's made to look like crystals. Yeah, and it's cool. It's, it's not bad. We had one of these because they've been announced. I mean, they've been public for a while. We couldn't even shoot it because the one that we originally got sold out, and after a long wait, we finally got a yeah. few back in. So, um, but it's a cool guitar. They had extreme success with the you know Neon Genesis guitar from a different sort of from anime, yeah. Like you know fan base and community. I think there's more game guitars out there. Taylor had their um, what game was that? Last, Last of, of Us, Us Two. Yeah, which is another game I play. Yeah. So you know I think that we you know we talked about it before. Guitar manufacturers getting smart, reaching out to fans of different cultures, mm -hmm. uh, games, TV, movies, all that, and well, because there are cool, musicians you know. that are into anything, yeah. you know, uh, like all sorts of different stuff. Uh, what's interesting is this: is, this is a video game, but Final Fantasy also has like an anime aspect to it, particularly mm -hmm. with the artwork that it does. Um, Proven by yeah. So inside, you get this special booklet. This is number seven twenty-seven, and there's a nice bit of artwork there. Um, so the the Guitar is actually in game, <laughs> you know, in universe, um, and it runs down all the specs for you. It's it's you know none of the specs are are extremely wild for the most part. It is a American Stratocaster, um, made in Japan, <laughs> <laughs> made in Japan. But the specs are like an American guitar. Yeah. Um, you've got V mod pickups. The scales the same. It's a maple neck, rosewood fretboard, all that stuff. The body is unique because it's alder with you know here at the horn and then there at kind of the arm bevel being the crystallized stuff, which is meant to evoke the difference between light and darkness in the game. This kind of, you know, the the age-old combat between light and oh, dark. Yeah. You know, Fender Gibson. No, I've kidding. played that game. <laughs> light versus dark in the um, soul. You've got dark, uh, basically like black chromed hardware. Yeah, which is really nice. You know, the tuners look good, yeah. vintage style, but sort of a black chrome all blacked out, which is kind of cool. The plate is numbered as well, right? Yeah, it's got 727 on there with the Final Fantasy logo. And then obviously you got inlay up on the 12th. Yeah, so this is Meteor uh, inlay at the 12th. And then this is kind of cool. So they've got some functionality. You want to talk about what it does, and I'll explain why they called it what they called yeah, it. Yeah, so basically I was under the impression since it's VMOB pickups that it was going to work just like, you know, American Pro 2 or something where hitting this switch in your 1 and 2 position, you add in the neck pickup. Actually, what it does is give you series on the bridge and middle. So 
big old humbucker kind of tone. Yeah, it's a big, fat, wide range humbucker sound. They call it the uh, the limit break switch. That's actually from the game. It's like a it's like a, a kind of a powerful combat move. Most people just call it limits, uh, but it's a powerful combat move in the game to like finish off your opponent. So the idea here is like you're taking the guitar to the next level. That's power its, that's up, its yeah. special power. It's its yeah. power up. It's the limit break. Boom. Now your strat has a humbucker. I can dig that. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a very sharp looking guitar. When I first saw the photos, I was under the impression, yeah, these are going to light up. That'd be cool. They don't, but it's still, it's... I think it's a little less obnoxious, like how props it is. to anybody who like buys one of these and routes it and throws an LED in there and makes it light Do up. It. I think that'd be yeah. cool. Uh, if you want to mess with, you know, a special limited run numbered series guitar, yeah. and if you do, I have more appreciation for you. So, would have been easy enough too. I mean, with the pick guard and everything, but anyway, it's fun. I digress. Uh, hot take. So, <laughs> as part of this. Fender also has, what did I say they were called? Matching. They're shards. Ma yeah, shards uh, from the game. So they are crystal looking like jazz to picks uh, from Fender with the Final Fantasy logo. Those are separate. And uh, I think honestly they should have just come with the guitar. But if you want those to go with your guitar, uh, they're available from Fender for like 40 bucks or something like that. Yeah, get yourself a little shard. Match the guitar. It's a bunch of different colors. Case. It should have been that, in the case. Whatever. We were searching for the shards. <laughs> They're not in there. <laughs> we but got it's a nice hard case. We got yeah. other crystals. They're silica. Do not eat. Don't eat. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, you put this through its paces. Yeah. It sounds pretty good, particularly with this cool switch. I love the switch. Would you like to see that show up on other like strats? Yeah, I, th I think simpler the better with uh, extra switching options. We loved how when they did American Pro Twos, they just kept it to that yeah. adding the neck in. I think that's great. For most players, having just a little humbucker switch, probably gonna do everything that you need. And we did put some overdrive distortion on this as well. So go through the clean tones using the Strymon Riverside, which I think is a pretty underrated pedal. I have it here. Um, All right, so here's here's actually Cooper's secret. If you want to sound just like Cooper, you don't have to practice, okay? It's all about pedals. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling everybody your secrets here. Yeah. But you have to get the settings right, okay? So it's a Riverside. Those are the settings. Did you get them? You gotta get them. Just pause? Okay, that's I'll it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't, I just messed around with the pedal. <laughs> We've done a full kind of demo of that pedal, some other overdrives and distortions from Strymon. I like this one a lot. It's pretty simple. They call it the multi-stage overdrive, so. He's using the sound better switch. That's Super. all you ever gotta do. So, a little clean tone. We've got the Blues Junior, uh, the Riverside multi-stage overdrive. Let's do it.
Some very cool tones and switching options on a limited numbered guitar that you know is bringing guitar players and gamers together at last. Finally, dude. Last time we tried this, it was with uh, what was it? Uh, guitar. God, what was the name of that game? Guitar Hero. Hero. Guitar Hero. Uh, I've blocked it out of my memory because I thought I was really good at that game, and then I played it at an arcade version yeah. at Chuck E. Cheese. And whoever this was, if you ever watch this channel. Whoever was in that Chucky suit that like challenged me and then blew me away, you were phenomenal at Guitar Hero. That's all I gotta say. You know, I'm terrible at that. I haven't played it in years, but always when I was growing up, I was like, I got this, dude. I got this. <laughs> it's nice. not the same as actually playing guitar. No. Turns out. So yeah, yeah, Chucky Chucky demolished me on Guitar Hero. So Charles to you. The, yes, it's Charles uh, P. Cheese. So um, now. You know, we with that game gone, and we can embrace that that collab with gamers yeah. and guitar again with the Final Fantasy fourteen guitar. Yeah, it is very cool for a collector that is into special releases, especially if you like Defender Japan stuff, mm -hmm. because it's always pretty uh, just solid. They yeah. send us really great guitars from Japan. So. I was just playing this for a second, and like the frets are so silky smooth on this guitar. Yeah. It's a well-made guitar. If I mean, it's simple. It's nothing crazy, but it does what it's supposed to do. You know? Except for the crystals in the body, Cooper. It's simple. It's not yeah. crazy. Or the shards, <laughs> the infinity shards that you have to collect all five, and then you snap and you can get an American Pro Two instead. Now, if you want more information about this guitar, Cooper, where can they go? So you're gonna want to go to AlamoMusic.com because we got them. We had one, it sold out immediately. We currently have five in the store. That's at the time of shooting. There's a few days turnaround time, so who's to say? But you know we've got them. They're gonna be on the site, just like everything else. And turn your notifications on, because when we get more limited video game guitars, you're gonna wanna know about or it. Or anime guitars. Or, I don't know, maybe the next collab will be, will be like romance novel guitar. I could see that happening. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. The next Twilight. But like a guitar. steamy, <laughs> like it steams. Harle Harlequin novel. Fender's Jack. That's what I'm talking about, dude. It'd have to be a Jazzmaster or a Jaguar. And it's gray, dude. <laughs> 50 shades. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so check it out online at alloyusic.com. Uh, and we can answer any questions that you have. You can check out the special photography that we have there as well. And also check out the other stuff if you're not interested in this and you want another guitar. If you're new to the channel, 
Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep in mind what I always say, the best guitar in the world is the one that is made of crystals and harkens back to your childhood with a video game that you've been playing forever. You know, but whatever, just keep playing guitar. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.